one of my key phrases for the whole day. Disciplines work miracles. Disciplines work miracles. And here's the first piece that works miracles. Number one, do what you can. Do not let neglect grab you by the throat. Don't let neglect stall you on your path toward prosperity and health, being able to become powerful, influential, rich beyond wildest imagination. Don't neglect what you can do. If you can read, read. If you can change, change. If you can grow, grow. If you can take one step, take one step. Do not neglect to do whatever you can do at the moment. Of course you can't run a multi-billion dollar business today. Mark couldn't either 10 years ago. Mark couldn't either five years ago. But I'm telling you today he can do it because step by step, year by year, he took on what he could do. He didn't neglect it. He did the meetings he could do. He made the calls he could make. He read the books he could read. He took the classes he could take. And step by step, he got himself ready. I'm telling you, do not neglect to do whatever you can do because it'll work miracles of personal development first, productivity second. Now, do what you can. Here's number two, do the best you can. If it's a foggy night and you can only see 100 feet, how can you see another 100 feet? Answer, walk the first 100 feet. Walk as far as you can see and then you can see some more. And walk as far as you can see, and then you can see some more. So what you've picked up here, just do it as far as you can see it. And I promise you, if you'll execute as far as you can see it, you'll be able to see more. Do that, then you can see more. And finally, get in tune of doing the best you can. And you'll have the activity that'll develop the disciplines that will set this sail so that you can say, it doesn't matter how the wind blows i'm prepared and projects god will give you ideas he will give you schemes he will give you concepts he will give you the ability to produce wealth he says if you produce something it can never run out. If you can produce something, you always have it. Poor people lose money. Rich people lose things. Wealthy people keep producing. Keep producing. God says, I don't want you to pray for something that runs out. Pray for something that keeps producing. Ideas keep producing. Discipline taps the unlimited power of commitment. The human will in action, driven by inspiration, enticed by desire, tempered by reason, guided by intelligence, can bring you to that high and lofty place called the good life. So start the new process. You can begin a new habit no matter how small it is. Small isn't important. Whether or not you start and whether or not you continue are all that is important. So to have a prosperous life, start a prosperity plan. To become wealthy, start a wealth plan. Remember, you don't have to be wealthy to have a wealth plan. A person with no means can have a rich plan. If you are ill, start a health plan. If you don't have energy, start an energy plan. If you don't feel good, start a feel good plan. If you're not smart, start a smart plan. If you can't, start a can plan. If you haven't, start a have plan. Anyone can. Even a bad person can start hearing good messages and reading good books. Recognize that the start of the better life, the happy life, the wealthy life is today. This is exciting. Both the process and the result can begin today. Start the new journey today. If you think of a new idea, today is the day to begin the discipline of putting that idea into action. Set this day up as a long, busy, exciting start for your new life.
See, most people, you ask them, hey, look here, I'd like for you to do this. They'll say, I'll try. I'll try means that is my escape clause. When I don't come through, it's really a polite no. I don't have the courage to tell you no, so I'll tell you I'll try. Hey, look here, I need you to come to this meeting. I'll try. I say, what do you mean? You're going to lean toward the meeting? <laughs> try and sit down. You either do or you don't. Try and take this pencil out of my hand. You either do or you don't. There's no such thing as try. So most people like to use that language. They don't want to commit themselves because commitment means, among many things, no excuse is acceptable. That's what it means. No excuse that if you decided that you're going to do this, if it becomes hard, then do it hard. If it's difficult, so what? If it's inconvenient, so what? See, a lot of people made a commitment to come here tonight, but they looked outside and said, it's raining. The temperature dropped. It's cold outside. And they decide to give up on their commitment. And that's how people do about their dreams. They don't honor their commitment to themselves. Let me tell you what happens when you, when you don't keep your commitment. Number one, it begins to deplete your, your self-esteem and it erodes your self-image. It weakens your faith in yourself. You don't feel good when you don't keep your commitment. Discipline taps the unlimited power of commitment. The human will in action, driven by inspiration, enticed by desire, tempered by reason, guided by intelligence, can bring you to that high and lofty place called the good life. So start the new process. You can begin a new habit no matter how small it is. Small isn't important. Whether or not you start and whether or not you continue are all that is important. So to have a prosperous life, start a prosperity plan. To become wealthy, start a wealth plan. Remember, you don't have to be wealthy to have a wealth plan. A person with no means can have a rich plan. If you are ill, start a health plan. If you don't have energy, start an energy plan. If you don't feel good, start a feel good plan. If you're not smart, start a smart plan. If you can't, start a can plan. If you haven't, start a have plan. Anyone can, even a bad person, can start hearing good messages and reading good books. Recognize that the start of the better life, the happy life, the wealthy life, is today. This is exciting. Both the process and the result can begin today. Start the new journey today. If you think of a new idea, today is the day to begin the discipline of putting that idea into action. Set this day up as a long, busy, exciting start for your new life.